Well, some Valley hospitals are now using new technology to try to fight the spread of the coronavirus. And Brianna Whitney shows us the little robots that are so strong, you cannot even be in the room with them when they're doing their thing. Walking down the halls at the hospital, this is a crazy sight. It looks like a strobe light coming from inside this hospital room, but Honor Health now has 32 of these what looks like a disco is actually now battling coronavirus. Meet Sadie. This is a germ zapping robot. She's one of 32 germ zapping robots Honor Health Hospitals now have to clean patient rooms and the ICU with UV light. Get rid of the residual viruses and bacteria and spores. They are so powerful that no one can be in the room during the four minute cycle with a caution sign outside the door. But now infectious disease officer Laura Schroeder says these are key to battling the novel coronavirus. A study out of Africa that they did and that they found that it could reduce um, the amount of germs left over in a room by well over 99%. That new discovery makes John Jorgensen and his wife proud. Yeah, it makes us feel even more strongly about uh, our investment in, uh, in the uh, robot. They donated two of the $125,000 robots to the hospitals and for them it's personal. Sadie was one of our special uh, standard poodles that passed away. And the other they donated named Tizzy after their other rescue dog. They're already considering donating a third this year after seeing how effective these robots are in zapping germs, especially with its advancements with coronavirus, something these hospitals are more than prepared for their bots to take on. Honor Health is ready to uh, take care of patients that have been exposed to the coronavirus. In Scottsdale, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family.